Mike Pryor hunts both African nationalist guerrillas who kill cattle to feed themselves and professional rustlers who are driving entire herds across the border into Mozambique for profit. He is paid to kill and he is paid well. A kill is worth £2,000 to him, 1000 from the Rhodesian government, another 1000 from his employer, the ranch owner. And it is left to his own discretion whether any African he sees in the bush after the 6pm curfew is a guerrilla or merely someone a little late going home. To claim his bounty, he need not produce the body, merely the right ear from it. Mike Pryor comes from Worksop in Derbyshire. An ex-British regular soldier in the Grenadier Guards, he served in Cyprus during the emergency and he's fought under other colours in other people's wars. He patrols at random nearly 90,000 acres with his Shona tracker, Chistiri, never at the same time two days running, sometimes during the day, sometimes at night. He says his presence is a deterrent which is working. Before he arrived here, the ranch owner was losing thousands of pounds worth of cattle a month, but they haven't lost once since he began three months ago. How long? On footpaths known to be used by guerrillas, he places his own style of booby trap. Two hand grenades connected by a taut nylon cord are placed camouflaged each side of the path. A foot tripping the cord pulls the pins out of the grenades. But most of Mike Pryor's work is waiting and watching, tucked in behind a rock high up on a hill overlooking the ranch lands. From here he can see the paths that lead from the tribal trust lands into Mozambique. Here he waits for the shot that makes him 2,000 pounds richer. He is aware that by now the guerrillas are just as anxious to kill him as he is them. Uh, I don't class myself as a bounty hunter. I'm just a security force. Um, I get paid to do a job and any bonus is an incentive bonus more than, more than being just a bounty hunter. No, I'm not a bounty hunter. That's a big temptation to, to shoot anybody here, whether he's a rustler or a terrorist, a guerrilla, I mean, there must be a big temptation with 2,000 pounds a head. Well, yeah, there sure is, <laughs> believe me. But um, I have a good tracker, and he keeps me on the straight and narrow as to who I should shoot and who I shouldn't shoot. He knows them. After all, he's from their tribe, so he knows every one of them. And he knows a rustler, a terror, or a guy that works for us. This week, another three guards start work in the area, just as anxious to make their bounty money. And no doubt, like Mike Pryor, just as aware that it must be made fast. One way or the other, they are here on short-term contracts. Michael Nicholson, News at 10, Chiretsi, in Rhodesia.